We go. Wind Waker. Are right, we going to help the prince? What's up, dude? Oh god, he's scary. I'm the adventure guy. Yeah. Sailing from island to island. Action, excitement, right? Yeah. I'll put you in a movie. You happen to find our golden feather? My girlfriend, she's wanted one of those things for the longest time. They're supposed to be an aphrodisiac. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. With the sexy time. It will not be a difficult mating season for bird people. Whoa, you've got a beak on your face, girl. I don't know if <laughs> you've you... got a beak on your face, girl. I don't know if you realize that. Uh, I'm pretty sure she realizes it. Hey, baby. She also has a bio biohazard symbol on her uh, chest. Yeah, she does. Maybe she's from Resident Evil. Um, bird girls, bird girls. Get your bird girl voice going on. Uh, oh, I like this. Wow! You really do have blue clothes with a picture of a crawfish on them. Oh, it's a crawfish, not a lobster. Oh. Good to know. I like how she pointed out that we are wearing our pajamas and not our... Well, it means she's not an honest person. Oh, <gasps> That's right, she can't see them. Mm -hmm. You're a Srod, right? Oh, me? I'm an attendant of the Great Sky Spirit Baloo. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Ka -ka! <laughs> oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Srati wants to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Why don't you fucking do it? With your fucking wings and sit shit. You accept your father's letter! Because she's lazy. When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and then, okay, that seems... Uh, the room is in the way the... <laughs> The room in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get you there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, why do I have a mouth and a beak? Because <laughs> the beak is just her nose, all right? And it doesn't even look like it opens. It's just like the top half of a beak. Yeah, that's... And she has like a little human mouth under it. That's not how that, birds work. That actually looks, the more I look at it, the more wrong it looks. Yeah. We should move along. I have a little paper. Entrance Dragon Roots, explain. Ah! <laughs> he's got a weird face. I think we just realized these people are closer to people and further away from birds than we A little bit. Thought. Ooh, that's, that looks like something straight out of Silent Hill. Yeah, that door has teeth on it and a face on the top of it. That's... You ever played Silent Hill? Uh, I watched, uh... I've seen a couple playthroughs of PT. Uh, -huh. uh that game's scary as fuck. Yeah, it is. Uh... The Red Liars! Wow, okay. <laughs> that, that's some high-level art right there. Uh, where's my delivery? You have to go over. Oh! Yeah. Got a good thing on here. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Alright. I have to individually assign them? Jesus Christ, wagons. Alright. You! I will show you this letter! <laughs> you just slap him in the face and take the orb. I know, right? Uh, a letter? Uh, from my father? Then just be done here. Uh. Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. Uh, it's not like he's the one who went through the horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get his scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Yeah, you've got a fucking beak for a nose. <laughs> Asshole. Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? <laughs> Pish! This is a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost the thing. I tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles in Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Fuck you. Ah! For now, he's just gonna sit there and keep doing his golem impression. <laughs> My precious. Yes. Golem. Oh. What's his name? Kamali? Kamali! Kamali! <laughs> Here we go! We're going, we're rolling, and doing the shit. Yeah! It's yep. time to um, go calm down a dragon. Calm down a dragon with our awesome dragon song. Yeah. Yes, our awesome dragon song. 
goes like this. Calm down, dragon. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, bird face? I guess it's expected to be the heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. Is that where he pees? Dragon Roost Pond. Yeah, that's where all the bird people pee. Oh, I thought the dragon peed there. No. Yeah. And then the bird people. Dragons don't pee. Come on, dude. Oh, you're right. They um they urinate molten lava. Right. Avi. I, I know. So I'm just not a drag draconic expert like you are. Yep. It's true. Uh, I can't get over there because I don't have a fucking care in the world, but also not a fucking whatever the fuck it is. Grappling. A grappling hook. Yep. Can't cut rock. Throw a rock. Uh, so not this way. Nope. That would appear to be correct. Or incorrect. Whichever you... I don't want to sort mail. Is it this way? Nope. Fuck, I guess. It's the, the dragon pee pond. But how do I get to the dragon pee pond? You fill it with dragon pee and then jump in. But how did the dragons don't pee? But you fill it with lava and you jump in. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's Prince Kamala's room. Fuck! Yes, it is. So, this way. Uh, yeah, why not? Fuck it! Hmm. Uh, okay! Yeah, we are! There she is! What's up, girl? What's you doing with your fine ass, beak ass self? Hey, you actually came! Come on! <laughs> I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place! I had to! I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately! See this place? There used to be a beautiful spring here, surrounded by a regular ass pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Baloo, he became so angry and he stopped peeing. In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Now you can plug my spring. Oh, wow. Inappropriate. Oh, where's my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Cavalli? Is he still Gollum? He was an asshole. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. Um, God, what did you do? Giving a blowjob with a beak is really hard. Oh, no! Oh! See? Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valua's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. Ah! I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure with his sexuality. <laughs> Srod, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. Can you give him a blowjob? Oh, God. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So... Will you help me? Sure. Whew! Thank you so much. You see your fucking ponytails. Wow. Okay. Pick me up. And make me go-go. Then face that ledge and toss me, ho-ho. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so play close attention to the direction of the wind. That means that you gotta watch All the right. way that I'm ready. shit is blowing. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. I'm going... To mount you. Ah, okay. Yep. Yep. You're as hard to pick up as a pig. <laughs> That's insulting. Pretty much. I am waiting for the atmospheric conditions to be ripe with the north facingness. Now they are going left. We're. No, they're not cooperating. We're doing the. <gasps> the gameplay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. That Most excellent. Didn't really hurt. What was he say? I once, once more with the wind, toss away, please. Fucking <laughs> topped her fucking face. In. Maybe I'll throw her from a higher vantage point. Go. Shit. <laughs> the fucking wind. <laughs> My, my beautiful stars! Twinkle, twinkle! Music emoji! Where were we? Oh, yeah! Win! I'm not drunk, you're drunk! You're drunk? Yeah! I will not be fooled this time, Wind! 
This is riveting gameplay. Waiting for the wind. Waiting for the wind to do wind things. Riveting gameplay is the only kind of gameplay there is. Riveting now. gameplay. <gasps> there you go. Yup. Nailed it. Hey. hey. Oh, thank you. Crap. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet the Great Balu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice at Endon, but I can understand some of the Great Balu's language. Some of it? <laughs> I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Ah! Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. He needs blowjobs by the hour. <laughs> this is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Is it a grappling hook? Nope. You got an empty bottle. Set it to... And you... <laughs> Set it to... And use it with... Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Hint, hint. Don't tell anyone, it'll be our secret. Ka -ka! Yep, go away. Now you can get some water. Ugh. Water. Yep. I uh, captured the water. You filled your bottle with water. Try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. Like your mother's vagina. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wait. Your mother's dead. You were raised by your grandmother. She's dry and withered. All of her. Pop. I made the bombs grow. Great. Now blow up that rock. That one? Yep. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. God damn you! Huh. It, it, it works, I'm just fucking it up. There we go. Uh, okay. I don't think she real like, it, it, she, she could have just given me the bottle. Yeah. And then I could have just done this whole sequence, yep. and then we both could have gone. Yep. Well, maybe birds can't swim. Have you ever met a duck? No, I've never met a duck, actually. you never met a duck? I've never met a duck, Ducks no. Ducks are great. Oh, they're, I know they're actually like the rapists of the animal kingdom. Lots of animals are the rapists of the animal kingdom. Well, that's probably factual. They have corkscrew penises. They do. Which that is awesome. Is okay. Wait, awesome. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Corkscrew the fucking shotgun penis? Wait, why do I... Oh, I know, I have this. Why do you want a corkscrew shotgun penis? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> It sounds incredibly you know, useful for sex and stuff. Uh, if you say so. You can... Don't all girls have corkscrew vaginas? No. No? No. I feel like I've been lied to all my life. Yeah. I, I mean, that's might, why I always wanted a corkscrew penis. I think you might have been, been... Have been lied to all your life? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I have only been trying to fuck this duck girl, so, like... Oh, well, there's your problem. Fucking cocksucking shit ass! <laughs> also throwing bombs. Fucking bomb! Throw an ass, motherfucking... Is apparently your Do problem. Do it! Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! The one foot... I can't roll upstairs? I was rolling upstairs in the Fortress of Solitude, but no, not about this fucking place. Dragon Roost Cavern! That one's moldy. Mossy. He's like, I'm an all-natural stone obelisk. <laughs> you know, I think I'm a vegan stone you obelisk. We'll probably explore this amazing cave on the next episode. On the next episode of Wind Waker! On the next episode of Luke Skywalker Adventures. Luke Wind Skywalker Adventures! Woo! Yeah.